Hello photo pips and welcome back to the channel and I want to start off with a quick apology. I mentioned in the last video I'd go over the new low pro bag with your, your my filter bag and I didn't, I, it weren't that I forgot, I just felt like um, it weren't going in that direction for um, a review on, on a bag. Uh, so I didn't really want to interrupt what was happening in the film. So I'm going to do a quick one now. I've just grabbed the bag. Okay, so here it is. One low pro filter bag. Um, I like to attach it here. See over this this clasp and wear it on the backpack. And then I just put the backpack on. Okay, so let's have a quick look how this all works. It's a Velcro system and it's brilliant. It's absolutely solid. Definitely like this. Absolutely solid. So let's get rid of the daddy bag and let's have a look at this wee baby bag. So look at this this way this Velcro works. Now the idea is look at that, it's like a double Velcro system. And uh, you what you would do I suppose is hook that into your belt and uh, wear it on, on your hip or on your on your front bit. Um, but yeah, I suppose on the side. So you could just get like an extra belt if you wanted to and wear it over your coat. Um, it's entirely up to you, but that's how it works. So now it's sitting on your, your body like that. You imagine it there, or lower, imagine it lower. And then all we do if we want to filter is we just unclip. So that's nicely attached, it's very strong. And then we just open up and look what's in here. One adapter ring, one foundation set, and then this is brilliant. Just uh, let me just see if I can find them. So you just pull them out as you need them. Absolutely brilliant. I've got my little screwdrivers in here as well, which it's not a good thing. I, I wouldn't really put them in, so I'm going to take them out. It's not going back in once that's out. So then we go, so then what also I did, I don't know if you can see in there, so that's attached to you like that, so you pull that down, and then what I then did, was I labelled just inside, a big stopper, a little stopper, and that's where that one lives. So you just pull that out, and that's the little stopper, and then that goes in there, then each one of them is all individual. So then you've got your big stopper, and then you've got your ND grads. Now I didn't mark them up because they really are nice and clear. All it is is that the um, stoppers, they sit further down in the bag, where these sit nice and flush, level with the top. So you literally, look, you can see them. You can see them as you're flicking through. Which is brilliant. And there's enough individuals, individual spaces. You've got one, two, three, eight, nine, ten. And the very the last one, the tenth one, is like just like a massive pouch, and that's where I put the the ring. I put the foundation kit in there, and I put the ring in there, like so. And then what, what you do is you just make sure that its ears are in. Okay? Because one of the faults were that when you shut it, these side bits, they don't, they don't go in. But if you're very careful and you realise you've got to do that, it's not a problem. Okay, so now I love this product. I think it's absolutely brilliant. And the reason why I think that is because with doing the video as well and having the GoPro, it's it's saving your your hand. It's like I've said in the previous, you need three hands, um, and this is basically doing that for me. So I can have this attached either to the bag, like I, I like to wear it, or I can have it attached to the side. Which more than likely, when you do serious shoots, that is how you will you'll have it. And then you can just flip this open on a press stud, and then just. Uh, through the index, find the one you want. Again, like I say, look, big stopper, little stopper. But yeah, that's the downfall to that. But other than that, 
out of 10. Oh, no, I love it. I don't, I don't want to give it a 10 because of that, I suppose, because that is a bit awkward. But for me, it's a very, very strong 8. I, I love it. I love it. Okay, so, um, just going over a few of the readers' comments, and that was one of the things. So, Richard, I hope that clears things up for you. You know who you are, you guys. You know, you're making me work harder. <laughs> you know I love it. So, um, I've got a couple of interesting ones here. Uh, um, a great one uh, well, from Davey, so, uh, saying it's great to see us out, and he's just talking about his M3, and the fact that... Um, also, he's mentioned that uh, Canon Canadia are raising the, raising the prices of all the Canon equipment um, to around 20%. It's never ever a good thing. But what I, what I suggested in, uh, in the comment was, keep hold of your kit, you've got what you need, it, it'll come down and, um, you know, if it don't, you've, you've got your camera, you've already paid for it. So, in, go out and enjoy it. And if it comes to the stage where you want to buy other lenses, maybe look at third-party ones. I mean, that Sigma fisheye eyeball is absolutely amazing. It's crisp. So look at the Sigma stuff. You know, a lot of people say a lot of good things about the Sigma. So, you know, that, that's another option. But thanks for your comment, David. It's brilliant. Uh, I've got some great, great ones there. Um, a guy called Darren over in the US who used to live... Um, in that local area where we shot and for me him getting in touch and just mentioning that he lived there it's going back I'm sure he said it was 20 years um, I'm pretty sure but to me that that's what it's about just to get in touch with, with you guys and get your feedback on the videos and and how they make you how they make you feel so yeah that's brilliant um, the comments are, are absolutely fantastic. I, I absolutely adore them. I, I love, I love it, and I love it when you tell me where you're coming from. You know, uh, we've got Dean here who lives over in Malta. It's fantastic. Uh, I just want to put a big thumbs up to uh, Paul, um, pit down Paul. It, great bloke, great photographer. Have a look at his stuff. I'm sure his train stuff's brilliant. I love it. So thanks for that, Paul. You supporting the site. I love it. Um, Andy, as always, you're always one of the first to comment. Both our Andy, Andrew Frost and uh, Andrew Ennings, brilliant, good lads, love it. I Def movies, the drone stuff that you're doing at the minute is fantastic. And what I, oh, I do want to ask you all is if you have got flicker sites or anything like that, if you can just um, let me know that you've sort of posted something on the Flickr because. I do not use it very often, but if it's a way for me to look at your photos, brilliant. I'd, lo I'd love to see what you guys are doing. So if you drop me a comment and then just put, oh, you know, I've been here shooting and here's one of my pictures, just copy and paste the link and then I'll go over and have a look and comment on it. The thing is with my comments to people, um, I don't critique pictures because I'm not there when you're taking that photo. So I do not know where, where you were in your mind, how you wanted the photo to look. So I cannot critique that for you, you know, but by all means, uh, I'd, be, I'd love to look at your work. So please leave a comment and put a little link to your Flickr page. I love it. Now I've been conversing with uh, a guy that lives down in London, uh, Colin, a top man. Now what we were thinking on doing was doing some photo walks, um, I'm probably doing the south, then the Midlands around where I am, and you know, around Bradgate Park and things like that, then going up north or sort of mid-north. <clears throat> because I'd like to do something that I can do in a day where I can go and get back, back for the family. Um, so I can sort of go down there, we can take some photos, we can meet up, jump on a train, have a chat, something to eat, go and get, get some photos in the bag, and then we all split and come home. So if we did a south one, obviously all you guys down south, it'd be great if you can join us. But what I need is feedback first, because I don't want to do this and then nobody turn up. Um, but like I say, me and Colin, we're, in, we're interested in doing this sort of thing. And then some of the guys up north, they're all interested. Uh, one of the lads in Liverpool, 
I mean, Liverpool, wow. I'd love to photograph in Liverpool. So that's a definite... Um, and then sort of working his way up north. A place I really do want to go is the Lake District and then at some time up to Scotland. Uh, Scotland holds a very, very, very dear place in my heart because all uh, half half of my side of my family are from Scotland. So to me, it's a place that I need, need to go and photograph. Um, so that's what we're looking for. But what I need is interest. And then, so if you guys are interested in the photo walk, where we all just meet there and then go on a photo walk, we'll bring the GoPro, we'll, we'll do little films and uh, we'll have fun. That's what it's about, fun. So cheers, Colin. Well, I'm going to wait for the uh, feedback on this, but it's, it's his idea. So let's do it. And uh, Dave Smith, cheers, buddy. Love it. Just keep bringing the comments in. Um, it, and the thumbs up because it makes the channel nice and strong. And it just gets the work out there. Other than that, here's my GoPro. And that, there's the little microphone that I use. Uh, probably be doing a quick review on that later. So, okay, thanks a lot. And uh, don't forget, get out and shoot. Take care guys, see you next time.